everyone welcome back to my channel today um today i did this fun christmasy glittery gold uh eye uh paired with a classic christmas red lip so anyway if you want to see how i got this look please keep on watching thanks guys all right so as you can see i've got one eye done i've got my foundation on um blush um contour all of that so i am going to start off um i am using this bad boy today i just absolutely love this palette um it's really good so i am going to start off by using the color eden which is this one right here it's kind of a mid kind of peachy color and i'm going to use my mac 224 brush which is just this blending brush and I'm going to start working this into my crease. So it doesn't have to be too precise. I'm just using this as a transitional color here. Okay. So I've got that on. I'm going to move on with a combination of amber, which is this color here, and then also uh, saffron, which is this one here. So I'm just going to lightly dip my brush um, in both of these colors. Now they are very pigmented, so you really just need a little bit. And I dust off the, or um, tap off the excess. And I'm just going to put this kind of right underneath where I put Eden. And just start blending it as well. I'm just going to blend it. Well, it kind of looks something like this. Okay. Then I'm going to switch to a smaller crease blending brush here. This is a Sonia Kashuk number 116. It's just kind of more of a dense, precise uh, brush. Um, so I am going to go in with the color Oud, I think is what it's called. O-U-D, I don't know, how do you pronounce that? Oud, Oud, that color anyway. I'm just gonna kind of dip my tip of my brush and I'm just gonna work this in my outer corner and I'm gonna bring it in a little bit on the lid here. So I'm not doing an entire lid cut crease so that's why I'm bringing the color in and I'm gonna dip it a little bit into saffron as well. Um, but anyway, bringing it a little bit onto the actual lid and not just keeping it on the outer corner. Kind of doing some circular motions and then I'm going to switch back to my MAC 224 blending brush and I'm just going to blend that in. So it all just seamlessly blends together. It's like that. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to come back to that in a moment. I'm going to go ahead and start cutting the crease. Um, and for that, I'm going to use my concealer. Um, this is the sh uh, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Any creamy concealer uh, will work for this. And then you need kind of a small detailing brush. And I'm going to use this brush here. Um, and this is wet, uh, just a wet and wild brush. Now, as you can see, it's pretty small and it's also pretty stiff, um, which I find uh, helpful when I'm doing a cut crease, that the, um, the bristles be a little bit more on the stiff side. It's a little easier to work with. Now I have to do, let me move my mirror a little bit more center here. Um, I have to do my cut crease a bit differently just because I do have hooded lids, as you can see. Um, so the trick to this is I'll show you. So I'm going to go ahead and place a little bit of this on and I'm also going to put a little bit on my hand here if I need a little bit more to work with. And then I'm just going to kind of start to smooth this around and then I'm going to kind of look down and look up. I'm going to put my head down and look up. And as you can see, where that transfers on um, my lid is where I want the edge of my cut crease to be. So that way you can actually see it 
when my eyes are open. Otherwise, if I kind of just do like you normally would with somebody who didn't have hooded eyes, um, which would be like right up to their regular crease. Um, if I did that and did that with my eyes closed and just kind of went above where my crease is, you wouldn't actually be able to see the color um, when I had my eyes open just because my uh, hood would cover it. So doing this um, ensures that when I actually have my eyes open, you can actually see the color. And don't worry too much right now about where that meets the other color because we're going to blend that out. So now I want to set that um, with a powder. Um, and I'm just going to use the champagne kind of color from this palette, which is uh, Nefertiti, which is right here. It's kind of a shimmery champagne color. And I'm just going to use the flat end of this uh, Urban Decay brush um, to apply that. And this is just going to kind of help set set it a bit before we put um, our other glitter on. So once we have that done, I'm going to work a little bit on blending my two colors or the where the cut creases and where the other colors meet. So I'm going to go back to this brush here and again, I'm going to pick up Oud, Oud that dark brown color and then I'm going to also dip it in that saffron the reddish color and I'm just going to start working this kind of in between those two colors okay and then again I'm going to go back to my MAC blending brush and I'm just going to do the same thing and just make sure it's all blended together Okay, now to the fun part. So, this little guy. So if you have not checked these out, you must go check them out. They're so good. If you like shimmery colors on your lid, this stuff is amazing. So this is the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. It's super easy to work with. I think they're like $22. Um, this is the second color I have. I have uh, Kitten Karma as well, which is more of a pinky champagne color, where this in, this one is more of a gold color, which I really like for Christmas. Um, but they have a bunch of different colors. They have like a black glittery one, more of a brown. I think they have a silver. You And a little bit goes a long way. And it's it's just really, really easy to work with rather than regular glitter. So what I'm going to do here... <clears throat> So I'm going to have a little brush ready here, <coughs> which you don't really need too much of. It has this little like doe foot kind of applicator here, which makes it pretty easy to put on. So I am just going to begin putting this on. And when I get to that edge of the crease, I'm just going to go really slow and try and stay on that line. And then when I get to the edge, I'm just going to kind of go, have a lighter hand. Um, I'm just going to have a lighter hand when I get to that edge here like that. So then I'm just going to make sure this is all blended. I'm just going to pat this in and just make sure that line is as straight as possible. Anyway, I'm going to let that dry down a little bit and then we'll go back with our blending brush and just blend one more time in between those two colors. So you just got to give it a minute and my palette back out and I'm just going to get some of that brown and that reddish color again and I'm just going to very, very lightly because I don't want to lose any of the glittery colors go kind of in between there. Just like that. And then again, you can take your blending brush and you should have something like that. So next what I'm gonna do is just um, put on some mascara and curl my lashes. 
for me if I'm doing a bold eye look like this um, or something that you're gonna wear you know for a uh, an uh, event or a party or Chris you know if you're doing a Christmas party or something like that I usually will like to do false lashes it just gives it that little bit of extra something um, and the lashes I'm going to use today are the house of lashes um, I think in the style I think this is siren yeah siren so I'm just gonna pop on some falsies and I'll be right back all right so now that I've got those on uh, those on after I put my falsies on I just kind of pinch them my um, real lashes and the falsies together and uh, just make sure that they're um, nice and put together all right so now I'm gonna move on to my lips and I kind of debated whether I wanted to do a nude lip or a red lip but come on now this is Christmas so I think we've just got to go with a nice bold red lip so I'm gonna start off by doing some lip liner any red lip liner will do um, I don't wear a ton and a half of red so the only one I have is this covergirl uh, lip perfection in number 215 which is passion so I'm just gonna use this and I think it's kind of necessary to do a lip liner when you're doing red just to make sure you get that nice crisp line um, that you want when you're doing really dark uh, colors such as red so I'm not going to talk much as I'm doing this. I'm going to go ahead and line those lips and um, that way I don't mess up. So now which red do I want to do? Still deciding here. I have this Lime Crime in Red Velvet which was like a liquid lip or I also have this Clinique Kiss and Tell in the color Matte Crimson. Looks like this. I think I'm going to use this. I'm pretty sure this was a really pretty red. So this is just like a classic Christmassy kind of red. All right, that is it for this look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you for being with me here today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye, guys.